Hey, welcome back to my channel, a Swiss Tesla fan. Uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, autopilot and cruise control. So, the first thing in Switzerland, uh, the coverage of the speed limits is actually pretty good. Um, but there are still some areas that have changed limits. For example, uh, the area I'm driving in right now, uh, there's been a lot of construction and so the speed limits have changed in the last year and fortunately the maps are not reflecting that so right now it says the speed limit is 80 but it is actually a hundred as you can see on, on some of the, the signs so what this actually does is that if you use the cruise control it'll automatically set it to the limit so that means 80 kilometers an hour I will get a lot of people upset if I drive 80 in the region where it's actually 100. So here I actually have to set it to 100 manually. But when I do that, it detects that I'm speeding, what, I, what it thinks I'm speeding, and so it does these really loud chimes, which are a little bit annoying. Uh, fortunately, it only does them for a little while and then it goes away. But uh, just so you know, this is uh, something that's uh, an improvement that can be made. Of course, uh, Tesla is working, I think, on the uh, uh, speed signs recognition and actually most of the signs uh, including um, oh look at that there's a big slowdown and the car has detected it before I did and is even slowing down all the way well done I'm very impressed so right now I'm using um, I'm not using autopilot I'm just using uh, the cruise control but that's already a big help and you can see it's detecting, it says two trucks here, but it's actually a single truck. It does that sometimes, but that's fine. As long as it detects more than less, I'm, uh, I'm okay with it. And um, yeah, so basically uh, you need to know that about speed limits. Um, it's not a big deal, but it can be uh, problematic. Now, in terms of autopilot, right now I'm on navigate on autopilot. So uh, we could try to activate that. <coughs> and it's going to steer here. Now, one thing that was noticed, I recently read an article about that, is um, if there's motorcycles that are coming through, the car will actually center itself on the lane. And that can be a problem because a lot of motorcycles want to use the center part to actually pass. And so uh, I read in California that a guy got really upset and hit the car uh, because they wouldn't let him pass. And actually, I can, I can testify to that here. Uh, sometimes I had to take it out of autopilot because uh, there was a motorcycle that was trying to get through. Uh, so I'm not sure if they can improve that because I'm not even sure if the motorcycles are allowed to do that, but uh, maybe they are. And the other thing that op op autopilot is different, in the US now they have um, um, autopilot that can change lanes automatically on, uh, when you're doing navigate. Uh, here in Switzerland you have to confirm lane changes, which is basically what uh, US uh, firmware did in the previous version, I believe. Uh, and also, I don't know what it is like in, uh, in the US or other regions, but here you have to keep both hands on the steering wheel and you also have to apply, apply a little bit of, of pressure, meaning you have to turn the wheel a little bit at times, otherwise the car uh, will scream at you and deactivate autopilot. So as you can see, I'm in heavy traffic here. This is a situation where with my previous car, I would really hate it because I'd have to put, uh, put use the pedals a lot and uh, really focus a lot on, uh, on actually gear shifting and stuff that's mostly, you know, things when you prefer to actually be focusing on the road a lot. And here in this case, basically the car is doing all this really repetitive th things itself. And I would say physical things, and I can just concentrate on what's going on on the road in front of me and making sure that the autopilot is doing uh, what I'm expecting it to do. So right now, I'm not braking, the car is doing that, and it's actually going to probably go all the way to a stop. And it's also doing the steering uh, very well. Of course, these are not fast speeds, so it's easier, I would say. But I must say, I was very impressed with the quality of the uh, cruise control. Uh, meaning the way it keeps distances uh, between cars is something pretty natural to me. It does it a lot like I would do it. And so it was nothing like other systems I tried, which would just scare me, uh, braking really late and, uh, and stuff like that. All right, so that's it for today. If you like this video, uh, please help the channel by putting a like. It will help it make it more visible. 
and uh, also uh, if you're interested in seeing more videos don't hesitate to subscribe and click the notification bell to know when a new uh, video gets released and last but not least don't hesitate to leave comments and if you want to have anything covered and if you're interested in purchasing a Tesla I'll put the link to uh, my uh, referral code uh, down there you can get a thousand five hundred kilometers of supercharger and electricity all right that's it for today see you in the next video bye bye